G'day everyone, Dan here and welcome to North Queensland Barbecue and Brewing. This morning I'm um, going on with another beer in the Cheeky Creek Brewery Challenge that I'm doing. Uh, today I'm doing a farmhouse ale. So I'm going to get the mash in to start with, let this mash for now, an and then when I come back I'll give some more details on this beer style. I've never brewed this beer before and I'm not very familiar with the style. I'm just, like most of these beers with this challenge, I'm giving them a go for the first time. Uh, this one's calling for three kilograms of Pilsner malt, one kilogram of Vienna malt, and 250 grams of flaked oats. So I'll mash that in now, get this started. What I'm doing a little bit differently this time is I'm not going to recirculate the wort through the mash for 60 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that mash in for about 45 minutes, and then I'm going to turn the uh, reticulation valve forward and for the last probably 15, 20 minutes of the mash, I'll recirculate the wort then. So we'll come back uh, in about an hour once this is ready. I'll turn that pump on with 15 minutes to go. And what we'll do then is when we, we'll start to sparge that out and I'll come up, I'll give a better explanation of the beer then. So I finished mashing this beer in now and we gave it uh, 45 minutes just mashing and then over the last 15 minutes I turned the uh, circulation ball on and gave it 15 minutes to recirculate the wort through the, uh, through the grain bed. So having done a slight bit of research on the farmhouse ale, uh, the farmhouse ale itself is not a single style of beer. Uh, it could be a Saison or it could be another uh, number of other French and Belgium style beers. I, I can't pronounce them, uh, weird French bloody pronunciations. Um, one source I looked at says that uh, the term farmhouse ale is an Americanism and there's no real difference between a saison and a farmhouse ale. So in general, a farmhouse ale is an overarching classification for various sub-styles of beer, um, basically those farmhouse-made Belgium and French beers. Um, in general, a beer that is a farmhouse ale will have a funky flavour, um, described as wet, hay or earthy. Um, it will have a tart taste to it, like an unripened strawberry, and will leave your mouth crisp and dry, basically. So the origins of the farmhouse ale are in Belgium, uh, in Belgium and France, and they were made in winter to be drunk through crop planting, maintenance and harvest in the summer times. Um, these beers were given to the seasonal workers, or saisoners in French. Uh, because this beer was for workers and made for workers, it was not made with very good, um, good materials or good, good grain bills. Um, it was made with natural yeast and uh, from leftover crops that didn't make it to market the previous year. So that was just a little bit of history on, on this uh, farmhouse ale or saison that we're, we're making. So this particular beer, um, I'm raising it up now to 100 to the boil. It's got a one hop addition and I'm using 40 grams of halotau in this, which is what the recipe calls for. This uh, recipe from Cheeky Pete calls for uh, mangrove jack M29 French saison yeast. I can't, I can't get that up here, so I'm using uh, the Lullamond Old Lull Brew Premium Series saison style ale yeast. I'm using that one there, so there shouldn't be too much of a difference. That was what I could get. Uh, this recipe is also calling for the yeast to be pitched at 22 degrees Celsius. So what I'll do is, with this particular system here with my wort chiller, I can't. I can't get it down to below about 28, 29, uh, just due to the water temperature here in North Queensland and Townsville. So what I'll do is, is I'll put the water chiller in, bring it down as far as I can, put it in the fermenter. In this case, I'm just going to use my normal fermenter that's got the, uh, uh, the bubbler on it. So nothing, so I'm not using a pressure ferment for this one. Um, so I'm going to put that in the fridge and bring it down to 22 degrees. Uh, probably take seven or eight hours to do that. And then I'll pitch the yeast at 22 degrees Celsius, and then I'm going to give it 24 hours, and I'm going to bring it out and just put it on the bench, wrap it in a towel. And that should naturally come up to 28 degrees, just with the air temperature up here being around 30 degrees on average daily and 23, 24 at night. So I'm going to rely on fermenting this out and keep my uh, pressure from it to spare, and the fermentation fridge spare as well, so I can do another beer in the next couple of days. So that's basically what I'm going to do with this beer. It's a 60 minute addition to the hops, like I said. I'm going to go through the rest of this brewing process. Um, there's, there's nothing special, take the hops out, chill it down, 
do all that sort of stuff. And we'll come back for the taste testing of this when this is ready. I'm hoping the fact that it's going to be fermenting at 28 degrees, which I'm actually curious to do. I've never done that temperature without cacao cow yeast. I'll be interested to see what it's like and that's yeah, maybe the way they were brewed. So it'll definitely affect the flavour. And um, yeah, we'll see what this tastes like. And I'll, I'll see you back when we're taste testing this beer, probably in about two and a half, three weeks time. So we're now back with this um, this farmhouse ale that we spent, uh, well, that I've just brewed. It ended up taking about seven or eight days before I kegged it. And it's been in the keg now for about eight days. And um, his has got better head on, poured mine a bit differently. But it's actually quite a pleasant beer. It's, it's a lot different than a lot of beers I've actually had before. Um, it, it's, it's hard to say to describe the flavour. When I, when I did the research, the flavour said it would be like wet straw or wet hay with a, like a a ripe or unripe strawberry bitterness or tartness at the end as, as when you finished it and it's actually that's what it is it's um there's no fruit in it like there's no fruitiness to that like there from any hops because you haven't dry hopped or anything mm. but um it's definitely a hay wet hay and then the after flavor of that is is tartness of strawberry from my, in my opinion james probably I don't know, I can probably explain it a bit wet, differently. Wet hay is not really a flavour of it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's quite, that's what I was describing. What yeah. I mean. That's no. nice. It's, it's like, it feels light. From my, well, I think it's got a fair bit of body to it, personally. Yeah. Okay. Like, well, you're the beer connoisseur, mate. Not really. It's a really strong. <laughs> but it feels like it's got a lot of flavour. There's a lot of body to it. It's, it's, oh, quite, yeah, it's got, I won't say thick, but it's... That's why I'm saying I feel, I feel like it's light. It yeah. has a lot of flavour, but like, it's not... That's not like a Guinness. No, no, or it's not. Like but there's or a lot of body to that beer, though, which is, you know, that could be the malt, uh, malt bill that was used in it, too, with the Vienna malt. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I'll probably brew this again, but I'll bottle it instead of keg it. It's hazy. Time. Yeah, it's still a bit hazy, but if we let that, obviously, um, if we were to let that sit in the fridge and age, that would probably clear out and it would actually clear right up. Like, I'm not going to wait six weeks to try beer because I'm a bit impatient like that. Just delicious. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it, and, you know, it's not a beer style I actually say, Son, it's not a beer style I would have gone out of my way to brew. As a part of the challenge of doing the Cheeky Feet Brewery Challenge, I just, I'm learning these different beer styles. And this is, yeah. I actually really like it. It's, it's like a lawnmower beer. Yeah. 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 And like we discussed in the first half of the video, it, it, it is a working yeah. man's beer. It was developed, you know, in Belgium and in, um, in uh, France. And it was a saison being set or saison a beer, seasonal worker beer, brewed from leftover grain from the year before with wild yeast, basically just thrown into a probably a timber, timber body um, keg and brewed like that, and um, with a bit of hops added. And yeah, I'm actually quite happy with it. it it's one of those things. It's hard to describe flavour of beer. But, um, just tastes good. <laughs> yeah, it tastes good. Yeah, it's not a lager. It's not a. It, it's a different ale than what I'm used to doing with my new and the IPAs or hazy pales, but. Yeah, it's quite pleasant. So that's the farmhouse ale, and it's um, we're quite happy with it. So until next time, guys, uh, we'll enjoy these beers and take care. Cheers.